Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Weston with Peak Mountain Camps and I'm going to give you a tour today. Um, as some of our followers know, it takes me forever to do videos and I'm just not very good at getting them out. And so I'm going to combine videos today. Um, I've got two camps that are very similar in color, but very different in layout. So I'm gonna combine those two videos and allow you to Kind of see which one you prefer, I guess. So be sure to stick around till the end as I go through these. Um, and then let me know in the comments what you think, how you like the layouts, um, maybe what you would prefer. So anyways, let's get started. first one we'll be walking through um, is a traditional layout. This one will be used as a Airbnb. Um, they'll be renting this out, so it's spec'd out um, with that in mind. They've got it all set up with extra batteries. This one does have the heated tanks, so it has heat plumbed from the furnace into those tanks, and then it also has electric heating elements on it. So nothing, nothing too out of the norm on the exterior. Um, you have your fridge vents, your electrical hookups. This has a 30 foot cord that'll step stretch out. And so if you are using it, campgrounds or whatever, really nice because you have the hookups right there. Up above, you've got your vent for your range hood and your stove. This is your fresh air intake for your wood burning stove and then your wood box that feeds all the way through to the inside. So you can put your wood in there and then just retrieve it from the inside. Your water hookups. So this has the city water hookups as well as your fresh water connections, your furnace, and then your battery banks are generally in this side with your solar controller. And as you can see on this, this one's telling me that my battery level is about 12.5. If I hit this button, I'm getting 12.4 into the batteries from the solar panels. That's what I'm drawing on the interior, 1.2 amps. That's with all the lights on, nothing coming out of the USB port and my batteries are at 70%. So that kind of gives you a good idea of how that solar controller works. Um, Really cool setup as far as that goes. You have your battery disconnect. The only time I really ever use that is if I am working on the electrical side of it. Most of the time I just leave it um, in the on position. You have your 200 watt solar panels on the back. This is access to your fresh water tank and your drains and your bypass stuff coax for antennas or if you want to do satellite and then on this side they have the pull out camp shaft which is a really nice feature it just pulls right out it's on drawer slides so yeah pull it out cook store it away it's easy cleanup have your water heater and it's just really basic too here on this one you have your exterior um, bypass so you have a bunch of valves and stuff in there to be able to bypass the trailer spare tire it's tucked up nice against your uh, axle so you don't have to worry about dragging it especially on these longer camps spray port so this has a quick connect hose get it open and it just goes in there and then it's got a spray wand and everything to where you know you can hose off kids dogs whatever and you have your holder for your sewer pipe stabilizer jacks on all four corners this one does have the awning on it 
as you can see no decals on this one they wanted it plain and your two and five sixteenths coupler adjustable coupler two seven gallon propane tanks your storage under here and then we go to the interior so this one has just the traditional dutch door um split door and then you have a big closet this will be really nice especially as they're renting it out lots of space for um, the individuals to put all their gear and whatever they want so big closet with big drawers underneath your big stainless steel fridge, freezer, convectional microwave. It does have the air fray in it. More storage, your stainless steel range. And these are all your switches, your monitors. This will run through all of your batteries, your tank levels. Um, and give you a good idea of what's going on with your camp inside of it so gas light super nice on them chilly mornings when you can just light it up takes the chill right off and you have your rain shed has a nice bright led um, keeps your cooking area really nice and clean this one does vent to the outside This is where all your fuses and breakers are. And then you have your wood burning stove. Lots of little kind of Western touches. These horseshoe hooks throughout the camp. And then, like I said, this one is a traditional layout. So it has the trundle bed with the pull out table. Um, really nice as far as being compact and everything kind of in its own place. Keeps the camp really clean. This is by far probably one of the most popular layouts. We build a lot in the traditional. So, your bookcase, you've got your lights, um, reading lights underneath, and then your speaker cabinet. This does have all your USB ports and other electrical hookups up there for antennas or anything that way. 28 inch LED TV. And then all these benches have storage too. So lots of storage in this one. They did um, opt for a bigger bathroom, which is nice. Um, and it all comes down to, you know, how you want to use the space. So each one is going to be custom as far as layouts and options that way. This one does have the pull out pantries. has two of those and then yeah this bathroom you can see it takes up quite a bit of space but as you go into it it's a lot roomier um, there's lots of room to stand in front of the vanity you have your porcelain toilet and then your glass stainless steel shower LED lights that's your exhaust fan, but just super nice the way that it turned out. Then you can see this is just a solid wood door. All the cabinetry and stuff in this is all uh, out of a knotty alder. So knotty alder doors, they're all hardwood doors, soft close hinges on them. A very stout. Um, as we tell our customers, the biggest issue they will have with one of our camps is deciding which kid they're going to hand it down to or who gets it when they're gone because it will, it will last them a long time. So anyways, that's a look at this camp. We'll go ahead and walk through, um, our next camp and let you see. And I'll also show you a rosewood trim. This one does have the Fantastic fan in it. It's all on a remote control. Your furnace. But yeah. Overall, pretty nice camp. So let's go take a look at this next one.
Guys, we don't live in tornado country in Utah, but I'm pretty sure we've got a tornado about to happen outside. That being said, we're not going to spend any time outside because you won't be able to hear a thing that I'm saying. So we'll spend the majority of our time here inside going through the layout of this camp, let you see some of the features and things going on in here so that you can determine what you want in your camp, what layout works for you. Um, this this video I'll entitled Battle of the Grays. This one's a gray interior, just like the one that I just showed you. So anyways, we'll go ahead, walk through this one, and let me know what you think. I think just to change things up a little bit, we're gonna start at the back of this one instead of the front. So this one has a twin size bed up top, queen size pillow top down below, um, your big bookshelves. And then lots of windows around the bed, nice natural lighting. It's got the pull-out drawers underneath the bed, nice for storage. And then it has the entertainment center that's set up for TV. This one's not getting a TV. But you can see lots of storage banks of drawers in this one. Put all your goodies and everything. TV will be mounted on the wall. Your wood-burning stove. Makes it nice and toasty. I don't know if you just heard that, but that was that tornado I was talking about. Stainless steel range, and then lots of storage as far as over by your kitchen area, your sink area with overhead storage. Lots of drawers. And then if we go to this side, you have your reclining sofas. Um, I'll pull one of these out so you can kind of see it. And they'll actually pull out to where they lay almost flat to where you could sleep someone on it. That one's pulled out a little bit. And then you have your dinette. This will also fold down and make into a bed. I don't have the cushions on this yet, but there will be cushions to where they'll lay down to where they make a nice bed. And then you'll have counter space with more drawers, so tons of drawers in this one. Overhead, your speakers, your monitoring system, water heater switch, stainless steel microwave. This is the stainless steel fridge as well. It's just got the protective cover on it. And then a big closet with your drawers underneath it. And then this one still has the split door and then in the bathroom, you have your medicine cabinet, vanity, your porcelain toilet, and your stainless steel and glass shower door. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like this layout? I really like the way that it lays out. I like the comfort that it has with the recliners. It's kind of a more spacious layout. Um, the dinette's nice as far as putting people at. You've probably seen some of our other videos where some of our other customers have not not gone with the dinette option and have chosen like a pull-out bar or a bench. Um, lots of options as far as that goes. But let me know in the comments what you think about this camp um, as well as the first camp that you've seen because I'd love to know. So... Anyways, if you want to know what colors these are, these are actually same colors as in the last camp with the floor and the portico teak cabinets, white barnwood walls, and then the cab or the countertops are a little bit different in this one. This is a popular countertop. We've done quite a few camps with this. And then on their little entertainment center, it's basically the same same type of countertop just with some different colors in it but i think it turned out super so anyways thanks for watching